Hey everybody, Ideas here. Um, haven't talked to you guys in quite a while now. Anyway, um, I'm actually hoping this is being recorded. If not, I'm not going to redo it. I was uh, getting on the subject of uh, transhumanism earlier today with some people, and uh, it's completely my subjective opinion on it. It's, it's not objective at all, but I do have objective reasons for it. Um, why I think if we're going to survive as a species... We're actually going to have to get into some type of transhumanism, um, even, even science-wise. I mean, you know, we're, we're joking around like, oh, let's, you know, send humans to Mars or let's send humans to here or there or wherever else. Um, you know, if you send a human to Mars, uh, radiation-wise and with gravity, they're not going to be able to come back. Um, it, it will kill them. They'll come back and they'll be dead. So my whole my whole point of the thing is, is that and I went back to Moore's Law, which is, you know, every 18 months that uh, technology doubles itself every 18 months. So I'm not looking like, obviously, tomorrow. I'm looking into the future. But if we are going to traverse the universe, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, big into science that listen to my videos or big into uh, cosmology or biology and chemistry and so on and so forth, that I think that if we are going to be able to uh, traverse the universe, the only way that we're going to be able to do it, because humans, are, I mean, our bodies are weak. They're weak shells. I mean, you can think as strong and as bad as you think that you are. Our our body, our our bodies, our shells are weak, um, and they're not going to be able to make the journey. You know, we're, we're not going to be able to travel, you know, a hundred million light years or however many light years, but. What I'm getting at is that I'm thinking in like the next hundred, maybe. 300 years we might be able to find out because everything in the human body is electrical if we can actually harness the conscience and make either uh i don't want to say uh inorganic because you know our body's all organic if we can make an inorganic shell or an inorganic body and maybe like a cybernetic brain and body then we can actually go to these places i mean you know you're not going to have hunger you're not going to have starvation. You're not going to have all the wants and needs that a regular human being would have. You're not going to have that sexual need. You're not going to have the need to uh, take a piss or take a shit or, you know, everything else. So, uh, anyway, uh, basically, reason for this video is I want to hear other people's opinions on it. Because um, what I was getting at, I, I mean, nuclear technology, everyone's like, oh, well, you know, we might go in a nuclear war, blah, blah, blah. Nuclear technology is old school. Nuclear technology isn't anything new. It's like from the 1930s and 40s. It's like, you know, 70, 80 years old. I'm surprised more. I'm surprised everybody doesn't have it. So, I mean, sooner or later, it's going to get to the point where people are mad at you. They're going to fucking drop a nuke on you or like some shit like that. Basically, what I'm getting at is that I think that we should actually have at least another way out. You know, we're worrying too much about other bullshit that isn't really going to be uh, too imperative to our existence. I mean, if you think in the next hundred years that there's not going to be a nuclear attack on somewhere, especially in the United States, yeah, you're, you're living in the looking glass. And, you know, it's completely, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, go ahead. Believe that all you want. And I'm not a lunatic. I'm not a fucking, I'm not even actually uh, anybody that's involved in politics. I could care less. Uh, Republican and Democrat is like, for me, you know, debating who's better, the bloods or the crips. I could care, you know, least about either one of them. My whole point is, is our existence. And, you know, I always hear about people talking about, you know, well, we know this, we know that. We don't know anything. You know, we're, we're still fucking myopic fucking idiots that are, you know, <laughs> that think that, that the world's flat and that we revolve around, the, I mean, the sun revolves around us. And, you know, it's getting to the point now where everyone's like, oh, well, science has told us this is. I mean, we, we have everything figured out. We don't have fucking jack shit figured out. Fact of the matter is, if we want to exist as a species, we have to go towards transhumanism. We have to actually have an impervable body that isn't going to be fucking, you know, affected by a nuclear blast or by starvation or by smog or by CO2 levels or whatever else. So, anyway... If anybody else has an opinion on it, I would actually like to hear about it, and, you know, we can have the conversation, because I haven't really heard too much about it. Um, anyway, again, haven't spoke to you guys in a while, so I hope everybody's well since the last time I uh, made a video. Sorry I haven't. I really hadn't had anything that's uh, interested me. I'm sick of the, uh, you know, well, Noah's Ark is wrong because of this, and Noah's Ark is wrong because of that, and, you know, uh, th those conversations actually don't even amuse me anymore i'm kind of like done with the, like the theology thing you know 
if you believe if you believe in you know fairy tales and like books like that then hey you know whatever if you don't believe in it then whatever i don't care but i'd like to talk about stuff that's really happening um you know i'm not gonna argue whether zeus was real or not with somebody that still believes zeus is real okay well zeus is real if you believe it then that's okay and then somebody that says well i have a lack of belief in zeus well you have a lack of belief in zeus okay then whatever um i'm kind of interested in actually the uh conversations about you know legitimate real stuff so Anyway, I uh, like I said, I hope everybody's well, and uh, until next time, think hard.